Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, it's Alex Bennett and this of course is The Ramble. And it goes from now until midnight tonight if something doesn't go wrong like it usually does lately. But uh, we're uh, all ready to go tonight and uh, to talk to an old friend of ours. Ladies and gentlemen, he's lean, he's mean, he's Larry Bubbles Brown. Yes, I, uh, <laughs> I'm lean because I followed the rules of Jim Fix. Yeah, we talked about that last time. A guy who used to say, if you run, you'll live forever, and then he dropped dead while <laughs> running. Yeah. There actually were, when jogging became big in the early, late 70s, there were a couple of people wrote books that they actually thought by jogging you might be able to live forever. They really believe that. Really? Yeah, it's just stupid. My, you know, I go down to the gym. Uh, I've been doing it less lately. I've been doing it about once a week, but I usually go down and do 25 minutes on the cycle. And as I'm sitting there, especially during the first 10 minutes of it, I'm going, what the fuck am I doing? You know, I'm like a fucking gerbil. You know? Yeah. I, 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 do, I do, and everybody says, oh, that's so good. You do 25 minutes on the cycle uh, three times a week? Oh, yo, that's great for you. And you know something? I can't say it made me feel any better. I'm still just as tired, you know? So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know that it's, it's, you know, it's like I think Bobby Slayton said: if you spend uh, 25 minutes on a cycle or every day for a week, uh, when you die, you will have wasted so many hours of your life. <laughs> it's yeah. exhausting and boring. Hey, there's no, you know, I got to tell you, I, I, if there's anything I've learned now at 79, going on 80 years of age, okay is that, and as I see all these other people I know dying in their 70s, and sometimes in their 60s, uh, I go that, you know, when your time's up, your time's up. That's it. You know, I mean, look at John Singleton. You know, 51. 51 years old. And he, he dropped dead. You know, yeah. uh, uh, he, he, he was a young man, so far as I'm concerned, you know, it was, what, 28 years younger than I am? You know, so, I mean, I, uh, it, when it's your time to go, it's your time to go. I mean, every now and then I have a friend or something who dies, and they, they're much younger than I am, and they go. I'm sure you've had some people you know. You're how old now, 64, did you say? I'm, no, I'm in Medicare. I'm 66. You're 66. So you, you, you've seen some of your friends die late, you know, in recent years, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's always, it's always disturbing. I, I read the obituaries because I still read newspapers, and I always look, you know. Yeah. And there's always someone younger than me that's died <laughs> for the last 10 years. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, you, you, I don't know that you're not going to go tomorrow. You know. I know. The guy that uh, Dana Carvey told me, the guy that manages his money, he said uh, he's pretty conservative with the money, but he told Dana, he said, don't be afraid to spend money because he's had too many clients that had zillions of dollars and croak. Should have some fun. You never know. Yeah, but here's the problem with that theory. Okay, uh, I, I've thought about that. You know, at my age, I'm, I'm still, you know, I'm on a fixed income, so I'm very careful about how I spend my money. And I've got, you know, maybe a, a couple of hundred thousand dollars available to me, if not more. I mean, Marjorie has an apartment that she owns that's worth about $400,000, and it's almost paid off. You know, so, I mean, we, we do have money we could survive on, and I'm going, I'm saying to myself, why don't I spend it now? I don't know what tomorrow brings. You know? Well, 
Yeah, well, he said don't go nuts, but he said don't be afraid to spend some of it. But. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, I, to begin with, I would, uh, I, I, one of the, well, I have a business manager, Gary, who's made sure that my credit cards are always paid off. I don't owe a penny except for this month's bill to a credit card company, okay? I'm, mm -hmm. Very few people can say that. Um, and I, uh, uh, I'm very happy about that. But I would hate to die and not owe these people some fucking money because there's nobody they can come to and try and get it from. I don't think they can get it from my wife. I think that's protected. Uh, the debts that I incur are protected from her. So, I mean, you know, and, and let's, say, let's say she goes before I do, uh, which, you know, I, she thinks is going to happen, okay? I, I, don't, I don't think it's going to happen, but, you know. Uh, but let's say she goes before I do. Okay, now I'm sitting here. I got all this money. It's not a lot of it, but enough. And I don't use it? Who's going to get it? We don't yeah. have any kids. You know, what, who am I going to leave it to? My friend Shecky? He's worth a couple of million. I don't need to leave money to Shecky. So who do I leave? I'll leave it to you, okay? Leave it to me. <laughs> it would be nice if people had an expiration date so we knew how we could spend our money. Well, yeah, if you knew when you were going to die... Well, that would be you know, horrible to know. But if you knew when you were going to die, then you could spend appropriately. But we always, I think a lot of us wind up leaving money behind. But we usually leave it for the kids, you know. We leave it for the grandkids. Crap like that. You know, so... Um, you know. That is the, the great fear is being old and having no money, uh, the great fear is being old and having no money, which is the case of most old people, you yeah. know, uh, because a lot of cases, uh, uh, medically, you get eaten alive, you know. Uh, Even with Medicare. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you know, and that's, that's why I'm such a socialist, you know. I'm a, what is that rattling? Could be, <laughs> might be the death rattle. <laughs> what, 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 wait a minute. What, some, something has decided to start rattling in the studio. Whenever you hear a rattling noise going on, uh, you, you go, what, what's, what's wrong? What part of the studio just broke? Wait a minute, hold on a second. I have no idea what that rattle is. But anyway, so did you hear that, by the way? I did hear it, yes. You did hear it. Okay. Well, that's the mysterious rattle, folks. That's the death rattle of my studio. <laughs> it means something's breaking somewhere. You know. Anyway, so, um, uh, you know, so, I mean, I, 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 the, the question is, how much money do you, do you spend? If you knew when you were going to die, you would know how much to spend. If I knew that I was only going to live the next two years, I'd start spending like a drunken sailor. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, me, I'd worry so much about death. You know, my ex-wife, uh, Ronnie, of course, has has what is essentially terminal cancer. Uh, it's just there's no expiration date on it. And uh, every time they give her a, a scan or something like that, they say, well, things are looking better, you know. Really? So she, in a way, yeah, she's been given a death sentence, as it were. But since it is not finite, she, it's the same as anybody else's life. But what the hell is that? I hear it again. Oh, well, that's not a piece of equipment. There, there is something, there is something in, it only happens occasionally, uh, up on the roof or something, there's something, and it, it starts, you hear that? There we go again. That's wonderful. Okay. But it's not coming from within the studio. I can hear it. It's in the ceiling. Oh, well. Stop it! Anyway, so it, it, and sometimes it gets really noisy, and then it stops. And I don't know what the hell it is. It's been going on for the longest time. But when you have an old 
house like this or apartment like this or building like this. There's just all kinds of things going on. And it, where, where is that? Hold on a second. Uh huh. No, it's, it's, it's coming from the ceiling. <laughs> oh boy. What, 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 it, it, Essentially, there is a sound that happens every now and then. It's not exactly like that, but, you know. But all I'm saying is that, you know, if we knew how long we were going to live, then we could spend accordingly. Meanwhile, uh, I have nobody to leave the money to outside of you. Uh, well, <laughs> let's do that paperwork. <laughs> let's do the paperwork, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, right now, I the only will I have is the one I made up with my wife. And she gives everything to me, and I give everything to her. Mm -hmm. Which, it, now listen to that. Hear that? It's getting that's, worse. That sounds like a jackhammer. And then, and and then it stops. Oh, this this is wonderful. I love this. It's the ghost of our apartment house. You know what famous uh, actor was go on a way to change his will to give it to his kids instead of his horrible wife and he died on the way to the lawyer's office of a heart attack oh i know somebody i got one for you here's a guy who died uh after being in his doctor's office doing a treadmill test in which his heart was pronounced sound as a dollar <laughs> who was that jack berry you remember jack berry Jack Barry was the uh, was was a, 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 a game show host. Who oh yeah, hosted yeah. Hosted the show Twenty One, produced it as well, and uh, then went on to do The Joker is Wild and a couple of other things as years went on after the Twenty One scandal. Uh, and he uh, he, uh, he he went to his doctor's office. They gave him the stress test on the treadmill. The doctor looked at the stuff, said, "You're you're in great shape, pal." Uh, and he left the office literally on, it was on Central Park, uh, 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 uh Central Park, uh, what is it, 59th Street, right? And he walks out and he's walking into the park and drops dead. Jesus. So much for being at a doctor's and getting a health test. How long is this going to keep up this noise? Wow. Well, this is this. We, we don't stop tape, folks, or stop tape. You keep going. Now, listen to how old fashioned I am. We don't stop file uh, just because there's a noise. Because if I did that every time I, uh, something happened in this apartment house, I'd never get anything done. But anyway, so uh, uh, how do you want to die? Uh, that's Here we go again. We're talking death. I don't. The heart. I don't like the heart attack. It's too soon, and uh, I'd like. I'd like a little time so I can get things done. So you would like to know you're dying, but you you can. I'd like to have a couple of months, well, but not have a uh, something that was real painful. What always I always felt was great. I I always admired uh, uh, two people, uh, Ingrid Bergman and Audrey Hepburn. Who both knew they had terminal diseases, so they went back home. I think Audrey Hepburn to wherever she was from, and uh, uh, Ingrid Bergman to wherever it was, Sweden or Norway, Sweden, I think it was, and had time to say goodbye to everybody, you know, and make amends to people maybe that you, you had an argument with, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I think it would be terrible to drop dead. After having an argument with your wife, you know, or somebody you cared about. Yeah. This thing is not going to stop making this noise, folks, so just live <laughs> with it. Uh, it does sound like a jackhammer, but it isn't. It's like a little baby jackhammer in the ceiling. Yeah. I think what it is, it's a fan on the roof of the building that sometimes gets a little off kilter. And then it all, it all kind of stops, you know. I had another sound in another room here, and it turned out it was a hot water pipe that, that you can actually see physically that goes up through the room. And if I had to put literally put a pillow between it and the wall, and it stopped the sound. 
But this, I don't know. It's uh, if I go into the bathroom, I think it's even louder in there. So that's that's the fun of living in a house like this. So yeah, it's probably but, eighty years old. But anyway, so that whole idea of uh, getting back to that, of, of being able to say goodbye to the people you love, seems to me not the worst idea in the world. Okay, might be a little emotional. Might be emotional. But, for instance, my wife, my ex-wife, Ronnie, uh, she knows she's got uh, inoperable cancer, but she's going through chemo, and the chemo seems to be working at least for the time being. So, but she has a chance to be nicer to some people maybe that she had wronged. She has time to, she and I have had some quality time on the phone, to, uh, on Skype, talking to each other. It stopped. Oh, God, thank God it stopped. It'll start up again. It'll and be back. Anyway, it'll, it, well, sometimes it isn't back for months. Anyway, um, so she, uh, you know, she, she has time to kind of be, tie things up, you know? And now she says she thought she was going to die within a year to two years, and they said the chemo is kind of working and that they have no prediction about how long she's going to live. And she said, what she, one of the things she did, she quit working out because she figured, why should I do that? Why should I waste my time doing that if yeah. I'm going to die, okay? And there were a couple other things she said she stopped doing that she's now started doing again because she said, I really don't know how long I'm going to live now. And I said, you know, none of us really do. I mean, I could drop dead tomorrow. I'm sitting here waiting. <laughs> you know, um, uh, it, uh, and that's a hell of a way for me to live. You know, like I got this uh, PSA test for prostate, and it had gone up quite a bit in, uh, over a four uh, in the last test, which means that I probably have prostate cancer, Okay. But there are several kinds of prostate cancer. One is so slow moving that they simply give you hormones for it and it keeps it at bay, okay? And that something else will probably kill me before the prostate cancer ever does. But nevertheless, it's two months away, that test, and I am worrying about it every morning that I wake up. Now, is that any way to live? Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, I, 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 and I shouldn't worry about it because the doctor told me, no, let me worry about it. I said, am I going to lose my prostate? He said, never. He said, what you've got is probably what every man over at your age, and see, over 80, 70% of men get prostate cancer. Right. And, but it, at that age, it's so slow growing. That you didn't, They'll die of something well, else. It's what they call watchful waiting. You know, the doctor will look at it every six months, see if he, if he sees anything, you know, and if he doesn't, uh, take another test in six months, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've got to quit living this way. I've got to quit worrying about that and just do it. And if it's as it is, we'll do what we have to do, whether it's a biopsy or whatever, and then we'll put me on some hormones and uh, I'm, I'm good to go. And it's not going to kill me. So, that being the case, if that's not going to kill me, he says something else will before the prostate cancer kills you. And I say, oh, that's good to know. Now I'm going to sit around worrying about what it is that is going to get well, me. To <laughs> oh, something else is going to get me first. Oh, that's good news. Thank you. <laughs> I'm very happy. Something's going to get me. Well, something's going to get all of us. But um, lately I've started thinking about what life is like after death because that has always frightened me. And not that I'm going to hell or anything like that. I don't believe in that shit, okay? But maybe there is something. And uh, I, was, I was watching like some science show or something. and Oh, I know what it was. It was my screensaver. And my screensaver is like of the planets and the stars and so on, right? And I was looking over at it one night and thinking, maybe that's where we go. Maybe we are, you know, we are star stuff. You know, that we are, there's something about us that, that 
when we when we die, we become part of the universe. Mm-hmm. Uh, does that sound crazy? No, but uh, but we won't have any awareness. Well, of no, it. we may have awareness of it. That's the point. Oh well, you know, it may be. I mean, could it be that this life that we have now is just a cocoon? I like that. Which, by the way, was the title of a very famous movie about a stuttering black guy. God. Oh, isn't that the worst joke you ever heard? Jesus. But then again, fuck you, I'm so old, how old <laughs> am I, that I don't have to be fucking politically correct. You can You're blow right. me. And so can the whole fucking Me Too movement. They can blow me. You know, this whole thing, you know what got me was this whole thing, I've been griping about it for days, with Kate Smith. Did you hear about this? Uh, yeah, which they took her statue down because she sang a racist song 100 years ago or something. Yeah, she sang a racist song, and I guess it was recorded, in a Broadway show. You know, she, it's not like she wrote it, you know. And it's called uh, uh, Why Darkies Were Born. Uh, and they were born to till the fields. And it, it's actually not a... It, it's only racist in its assumptions of the time, okay? But it's not a racist song. This woman... I was talking to my friend Shecky about her. And, uh, and I remember Kate Smith, and you may have. Uh, she was still around, I think, while you were growing up. The big fat woman. You always felt that she had, a, you always wear black dresses and you thought, you could have sworn they had sweat stains on them. But anyway. <laughs> and she had a daily show on radio and television. And she's famous for having sung God Bless America, an Irving Berlin song. And uh, they, they've taken her statue down in Philadelphia and they don't play God Bless America any longer at the Yankees games during the seventh inning stretch. Why? Because she supposedly recorded this racist song back in, I think, 1926. Uh, wow. Yeah. Which, by the way, was also recorded by Paul Robeson, who was the definitive black singer in America and considered a communist and very much a proud black man. He sang that song. A true black hero. Along with singing Old Man River in the movie Showboat, the original sh version of Showboat. Um, so um, uh, uh, she, she gets a, given a bad time for this, and then Shecky tells me, do you realize Kate Smith raised one billion dollars. Now, this is at a time when a billion was a hundred million. Something. <laughs> yeah, it was a hundred million or something. A thousand, thousand million. million. A thousand million. In fact, I saw a movie once where they said, I could make you millions. In fact, I can make you thousands of millions. And I went, isn't that a billion? They didn't even have a concept <laughs> of a billion back then. <laughs> she raised a billion dollars for the war effort in World War II a lot of money and Incredible. was she racist there was an actor there was a singer by the name of Josephine Baker couldn't get hired in the United States she went to France and became the toast of Europe as a chanteuse and as a performer and she came back to the United States to try and you know get big over here and nobody would put her on because she had a reputation of being too sexy and things like that. And plus, she was just a black singer. Guess who had her on a radio show and television shows? The only performer to do so, Kate Smith. There you go. So what's this bullshit about Kate Smith being a racist? You know, she just happened to sing the wrong song at the wrong at 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 the right time. Actually, I mean. Uh, uh, in fact, I don't know who wrote the song. It may have even been Irving Berlin. I don't know. But it's certainly, you know, come on. 
Stop it already with this political correctness. Gotta stop. It's annoying. It, it absolutely is. It's incredibly annoying. And you must be getting tired of it on the stage. Oh, you gotta you self censor now. You gotta be so careful about anything you say. So. Yeah, yeah. You can't even make those old jokes about women anymore, can you? No, I can't do it. Yeah. Uh, you, I, in fact, I you, you had a catchphrase. It was, I know it's a stupid catchphrase, folks, but he would go, hookers? Hookers and park it whore. Park it whore. And you wouldn't do that anymore, right? Oh, you, no, you'd be thrown off the air. So. Mm -hmm. I think uh, probably he, half the stuff we did on your show we'd be thrown off the air for now. It, Larry used to do the traffic reports on my radio show. And he would say, "There's a there's a stalled car on the west side, on, on the 101, 101 or whatever." And, and then you say, so they, they "Park at whore." Park at whore. Uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, before we leave, and we we're running a little over here, but could you give us a traffic report? <laughs> yes, a woman's been savagely rear-ended on 101. <laughs> 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 and then I then one of the one of the women that worked she'd. <laughs> She'd re she'd record a little moan. It was <laughs> <laughs> it was fun then, but now now well, my God, if we did it now, so. if we did it now, man, we'd be in trouble. In fact, if I yeah. went back on the air in San Francisco, they'd probably say the Bennett Show was sexist. Listen to how Larry Bubbles Brown and what he did on this traffic reports. Park it, whore. Savagely rear-ended. Anyway. <laughs> hey, we've run out of time, Bubs. Oh, uh, too fun. Two more half hours of our life, or 25 minutes of our life, wasted. But we had fun. We had fun. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Bubbles yeah. Brown. Goodbye, yeah. goodbye Bubs. <laughs> Bye, Alex. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And that's our good friend Larry Bubbles Brown. And yes, uh, we're on tonight. We're not on with my new machine. It's the old machine, but the old machine, which is the new machine. I'm using, we have two varieties of machines here. One was, we call the trash can. That's the new one. And that's the one that keeps constantly doing something, which I normally like. It keeps going down on us. Uh, but last night, we couldn't even do a show because every time I go back on, it would immediately reboot the machine. And it's been sitting in the other room all day on and off, rebooting itself uh, and, and, and sometimes waiting for hours and hours and hours and not. Right? So I'm taking it to Apple tomorrow and they, they got to fix it because it's something they did when they upgraded everything in that machine. I thought I was getting a better machine, but apparently I was getting what turns out to be a worse machine. So anyway, let's see if we can do. We're doing this with the with the old uh, standby, the old cheese grater, and it's a it's a great little computer, and our lines are open, uh, and uh, who knows, uh, maybe we can uh, get it all to work fine, uh, you know. But we'll we'll uh, so far. I mean, so far it looks good, right? I'm looking at the picture. Yeah, yeah see, I'm, it looks fine. So um, uh, give us a call. Lines are open. Skype me at GabNet Live, or there's a phone number over at GabNet.net, uh, which you can, it's at the bottom of the page, you can call. We prefer you not do it by phone, because it's not as much fun when we can't see you. But anyway, um, we're waiting for our first caller, and uh, uh, who knows who that will be? Probably, let's see, who's out there right now? Uh, let's see, Scott Boddicker is online. Charlie Wallace is online. Uh, Phil Meyer is online. If the two of them call, I, well, if the two of them call, we'll be uh, able to uh, put them up on, our, up on our screen, which right now is empty. Look at that. See? Because nobody's calling. See? It's empty. Mm -hmm. So, oh, there we go. It's Charlie Wallace is the first one in. He's the first one in this evening. Let me see here. Let me put him on. Uh, uh, oh, he's already there. He was in the first spot on this one before. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Charlie Wallace. Hello, Charlie. How are you? Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what, uh, you doing okay? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yep. Just enjoying the weather down here in Arizona. In Arizona. Yeah, I keep forgetting you're not in Texas anymore. No. Do you miss Texas? Yeah, sometimes I do. But I like the mountains. The mountains are gorgeous. The, in, in Arizona? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Let me see. Eddie Jordan is calling us. And it probably, uh, yes, it does what it did last night. Uh, so we'll have to call Eddie back. Add him to the call. Uh, and uh, let me see here. There we go. Let's see here. Um, Phil Meyer says, it's not going through. What do you mean it's not going through? Here you go, Phil. Uh, Phil, has it, it been. Uh, I missed that call, so now I'm going to have to call Phil back. So hold on a moment, ladies and gentlemen, while I call Phil back and add him to the group. Okay, and then i got to add Eddie Jordan uh, to... Uh, to one of our spots here. Hold on, uh, Eddie. Uh, uh, let's see here, Eddie Jordan. There's Eddie Jordan. Okay, and then oh, we got to add Spot Boddicker, but uh, of course we're going to have to call him back because uh, Skype has been so fucked up lately that it's uh, okay. Let me add. I him. I was the first one calling, and I actually got rejected three or four times. Why did you get rejected? Uh, uh, I got a message that uh, just said that it was on uh, Gabnet was unavailable. Yeah, and I did. Then, yeah, and I then, too. then it told me that my signal was too weak. Mm -hmm. And at that point, you called me back. Well, oh, right. And then let's see here. Tony Magno uh, is calling, uh, and Scott Boddicker. We actually have Scott up, so let me put Scott. Uh, let's see here. He would go in the fourth spot. Oh, here we, here I like we the go. fourth spot. You like the fourth spot, do you? Okay, <laughs> hold on a second. Scott Boddicker, put him in the fourth spot. Uh, there we go. And hey. uh, now I'm just waiting for Tony to call back. And there will be, well, maybe, did I put him up there? Hold on a second. Oh, here, here he comes. Well, here comes Tony again. Uh, and, of course, uh, Tony Magno missed call. Okay, let me go put Tony up here. Uh, let me see here. Add. Okay. So we've added Tony to the thing. So, Tony, it's ringing you, I'm sure. Uh, and we will uh, wait for you to, uh, but uh, hold on a second. Let me, uh, uh, let me go here. Uh, let me see here. Where are we? Um, wait a minute. Here, here. Wait a minute. Where, where are we? Uh, oh, five. Okay. Five. Well, the, Tony, for some reason, is wound up in uh, in another position. Oh. oh well, what the hell? Somebody else call, and we can put one more person in there. Okay, Tony, why don't you let us see your whole face? You're always, <laughs> you always kind of want to ski. Yeah, and then every now and then we have to keep we have to keep reminding you that you have to, you know. I know. I I, do I don't whatever. realize it sometimes. Let me let me put you up in the number four position here. Hold on a uh, second. Uh, for a moment, folks, you're going to see two. You promised that pos position to Scott. Can't and I oh, think no, he was very number happy. Four? Number five. <laughs> number five. <laughs> number five. <laughs> Let me put in Tony Quisp. There we go. Clean up. Okay. So Great he, term. Clean up, yeah, guy. So he's, exactly. he's twice. <laughs> and uh, we we won't have. Uh, 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 there we go. We won't have Tony down there. So uh, there we go. Now I got them all looking. Looking nice. A little bit of trouble here, folks. But it, you know, I uh, I got a I got a thing from somebody at Skype, and hmm. and I complained about you know the the problem that we're having in getting people online, and uh, he said, well, first of all, uh, make sure you have the latest version of Skype. <laughs> <laughs> And not only do I have the latest version of Skype, I've got the uh, uh, a new one that's... Um, and by the way, I'm out of sync now, folks, so just get used to it. That's, yeah, that's the old machine, okay? I'll just put my hand over my mouth, and then nobody will see that I'm... Yeah. Anyway, so where were we? Uh, so anyway, so these people... You talk to the guy at Skype. The people at Skype. So I talk to the guy at Skype, Okay. And the guy at Skype says to me, um, uh, Alex, uh, or Mr. Schwarzman, or whatever he called me, uh, uh, he said, uh, 
uh, have, you know, uh, do you have the latest version? And I said, you know, I've got the latest version. And they said, make sure all your people have the latest version. And maybe they, you should ask them all to reinstall it. And I'm going, <laughs> I had 10 people on a couple of nights ago and had trouble with every single one of them, okay? So what do you expect? You know, I, I, I can't do any more than that. I'm on the latest version. Me too. Yeah, I'm on the latest Me version. Me too. Yeah, of course. Okay, so this guy, is, his first idea was wrong. What? Yeah. Yeah, we're all on the latest version. Alex is missing. You know, it's interesting that I'm out of sync and all you guys aren't. You know, yeah, I, I, should, I should just do away with my picture altogether. <laughs> you know, and... Yeah. Uh, huh? Just put the flag in there. Huh? What? <laughs> put the flag in there, the cabinet flag. Put the cabinet flag in there? Yeah. 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 I mean, I should just to hell with it. No, I, you don't need to see me anyway. But the, the, uh, the reason... I have I, news for you. Everybody that watches watches for you not for us well the reason the reason i'm out of sync is because this machine doesn't have the same power that the other one does but the other one of course doesn't have the power to stay on for a long amount of time so i'm ta yeah. i'm taking it down tomorrow and I'm, i i i got these these pieces of paper these uh, a volume of uh, notes of the of some of the readings okay uh, and they, they say that, well, you know, sometimes these, these pa error, error, panic errors or whatever are the result of, uh, of uh, a bad software or bad peripherals or whatever. So last night when I was through here, I installed the old cheese grater here, which, you know, thank God for it. And I, I cleaned it out so it's silent. You can't even hear it. I can't even hear it. I think it's off. Anyway. And I took the other machine into the other room, right, with no peripherals and mm -hmm. no apps on, and it crashed. Oh, shit. Uh, take your iPhone yeah. and video uh, a, a crash, you know, that uh, no, so no, you can no, show because, them, hey, it's sitting here, look. No, I would have to wait for that, Phil, because it, yeah. it, it, I don't think you'd have to wait very long. No. Uh, th <laughs> well, this th this afternoon it was happening about every five minutes, and then now it's not doing it at all. But uh, I took off all the apps. I took off everything. The only thing running was the machine. So I want them to tell me, oh, I bet it's an app or something like that. No, it's not. You know, and, and this machine didn't do this until you guys repaired it yeah. and replaced all this shit. It's probably, I would say it's probably the CPU's off. There's something wrong with the CPU that they put in there. And they changed that. Yeah. yeah but they made, but just, because, just because it's a new CPU doesn't mean it's a good CPU, you know. Yeah. It could have gone bad immediately. And this started happening just a few days after I got the machine. So, yeah. you know. So everybody's going, well, you know, why, maybe they'll just give you a new refurbished one, you know. Instead. I thought that. Yeah, well, that may, that may be their solution eventually, you know. But uh, please turn up the volume, Alex. Yeah. My, my volume. What? My volume? No, I'm just seeing that. I'm going to go listen and see if you, I can't hear you, but you're fine here on Skype. Wait a yeah, minute. Yeah, Skype is fine. Yeah. And, and when I talk, I look up here and... Uh, let me see here. It's not. That's your not your view meter. No, that's not it. No, no. I'm I'm going through. No, yeah. you sound fine. Well, I don't know. Richard Lee says, "Please turn your volume up, Alex." And my vo uh, my volume is fine. I think. If it isn't, I don't know. I give up. You know, there's part of me that's going. I think maybe I need to take a month off. You know, just stop this for a while. Just b b just backtrack and and just decompress because uh, today I was in such bad shape I could barely walk down to the store. I was so tired. I was so out of it, you know, from all this crap that's been going on. Stress. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and do I need it? Megan Bell uh, Megan Belknap says sounds good. Thank you very much, Richard. Get some ears. Uh, Alex, on tune, uh, on tune in. My volume is all the way up, and I can't hear you. 
Well, that's, uh, tell them to go on the GabNet site. Tell them to go to YouTube. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm watching it on the uh, the GabNet site, and you know, you just click on the thing, and uh, yeah. I I muted. Yeah. I went over to the other computer. I listened. It sounded fine. Yeah. But anyway, so I'm out of sync. I'm about five, four seconds behind now. And it's funny, at the end of the show, if I go to my camera, I'm way out of sync, and then as soon as I hang up on you guys, yeah. I'm fine. You know, so it, it's all, because this machine, is, the trouble is, I'll tell you what the trouble was. When Skype went to their new system, I had to, we had to do this in a way that we didn't have to do it before that was more intensive. And the fact that just be, Skype itself being on and causing me to go behind and be off uh, uh, out of sync seems to say to me that Skype built a very unreliable system. In other words, it uses up too much too much uh, power, too much CPU power out of a machine. It How much are you using on the grader? On the grader, I'm using um, at uh, 34%. You know. All right, so that's three times as much as you use yeah, on the other. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, is that I think it's it's the Skype. And now, why is it like I'm taking the Skype people? The picture people are seeing of me is off Skype, as well. So, uh, uh, I, but so I don't know why I'm out of sync. Am I out of sync to you guys? A little yeah. bit, yeah. Yeah, see, that's yeah. the point. On yeah. Skype, you are, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Say so, and if I use my regular uh, camera, I'm even more out of sync. So uh, I, I give up. You know, what do we? What do we? How do we solve this? We. If just... I put you in a little circle, I can't see your lips, so that's fine. Oh, oh good, <laughs> good. Oh, if I, if I go like this, wait a minute. If I go like this, and just go like I just this, the top. Circle. I just brought Charlie down. I can see Charlie. Everything's everything's just fine. So yeah, yeah. keep yeah. going. But uh, anyway, so these these idiots over at Skype are going like have your people like all make sure they're upgraded and have them uh, completely get rid of it out of their machine and put it back. And I said there are ten of these people. I shouldn't have every one of them get an, a thing saying they don't have enough bandwidth. You know, uh, there's something. You know, the problem with ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh, uh, no fair. Yeah, and then he'll start talking about Trump and lose the complete off factor. Uh, anyway, the, the, the point is, is that companies like Microsoft refuse to admit they're wrong. They refuse to admit they have a problem. And they do. Uh, but they refuse to admit it. And this is an obvious problem they have because it wasn't this way till they upgraded last week. Yeah. You know, so we all know that like it's just like with my with my machine I'm going to take in tomorrow. If they give me any shit about it, hey, this thing worked perfectly except that the 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 uh, display card went out. Uh, it worked perfectly uh, without it, rebooting itself or anything before I gave it to you guys. And when you went down and put a whole bunch of stuff in and it came back, now it's doing this. What do you think's causing it? I mean, what's the logical thing to believe is causing it? Uh, and, and the fact is that Skype will not believe that, hey, we upgraded and we probably fucked some people over. Here's what you should do to make, make sure all your people are, yeah, right, I'm going to write each of you a note and tell you to reinstall it when you've already <laughs> installed the fucking thing. You know? Yeah. So, anyway, what are you looking at, Scott? Oh, I'm just listening to you guys. You just put me in a little circle so you don't have to see. Well, no, I I'm just I, doing, I, I, I'm just doing some work. Well, you're no. not. You're never in the little circle on the show. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's yeah. right. I forgot about the Skype or the YouTube thing. Yeah. But I'm so I'm exhausted. I mean, I almost didn't do a show tonight. I, I, I wasn't going to do a show tonight, and then all of a sudden I get a note from Damien that he had a tooth uh, root canal today and he can't oh. do the show. So I'm going. Well, I guess I better do one. So there's something on here tonight, you know. Um, but I mean, I was just, I was just, uh, you know. I mean, I love this little cheese grater of mine, and I got to tell you, this would work just great if it weren't for the new Skype. It would be just perfect. Uh, in fact, I used to be able to use this other machine. I can't use it, uh, the PC, because it doesn't have enough power. Yeah. To, to take yeah. it all, because what it did the last time when we used that, 
is it started making the uh, YouTube uh, feed choppy. At least the YouTube feed isn't choppy here, you know. So. Yeah, it looks good. Well, yeah, it looks Do you great. think the old Mini uh, has, uh, does it have more or less power uh, than the cheese grater? Uh, oh, it has less power than cheese grater. Okay, because it was dual core and fast. The, the cheese Mini. grater is eight core. Oh, okay. Okay. It's, yeah. it, they call it a cheese grater, folks, because it has holes. And, and you could probably, if you wanted to, grate cheese <laughs> on it. Yeah, you, um, you did before you blew out all that dust. Yeah. And I may, and I may call, I may call this uh, this new computer the uh, plant uh, holder, uh, because if if they can't fix the fucking thing, I'm putting dirt in the top of it and putting a plant in it. <laughs> well, uh, I, I think that. Like I said on uh, Jack's show last night, maybe you should throw it in the trash can. Yeah. Uh, they'll give them satisfaction on it. I'm sure Apple will do right by us. But uh, it, 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 the, the problem is getting it settled. I know it's something they did that caused this problem. There's some part they put in that isn't doing what it should be doing. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know what that is, but it's not doing it. And uh, that's why it can, keeps rebooting, why it goes into this, what they call kernel panic or something. Uh, and uh, uh, as I say, oh. I, I had to do the kernel panic without any programs running, without any peripherals attached to it. You know. uh, can, uh, do, can you uh, run it in safe mode uh, and, and it's still... Oh, it'll, uh, it'll run in, in safe mode, but I can't run a lot of programs in safe mode. I don't think I could run uh, OBS, the thing that switches the show. I don't think I could use that. You know? Yeah. Well, if you, if you deleted all the programs off of there and just put the operating system in, does that uh, allow it to... Uh, crash. I have no idea. I'm not about ready to do that. Uh, Why would I do that? Well, because then you could see if it was a software issue or not. Well, it's obviously not a software issue because How I because I didn't have any software loaded into the goddamn thing except for the operating system. Oh, okay. Well, that's what I was asking you. If you took everything off of it, uh, I tried it. I finally just made sure I didn't have anything running. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Right, except yeah, for that, and it, and it crashed. And it crashed. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So That's kind of what I was asking. I, I think that kind of shows you where it's at. Okay. All right. But anyway, so that that's that that was my problem for tonight, and I'm so I'm exhausted today. I just I had to take another pill last night to get to sleep. I didn't get to sleep till three in the morning. Got up at ten. Uh. uh you know, I, 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 I got to get everything to work, and it's hard to get it all working, you know. And and I, well, all I want is a machine that works nicely. I can just come on here at night, and I just press the button, and I do a little show, you know. And uh, uh, let you guys talk and have a good time and, and all of that. But, you know, it's, 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 it's just, it, it, it just makes it rough on me. And uh, I... I you know, I'm I'm not a young man, okay? Let's be honest. And if I were younger, I think this would be driving me nuts. Yeah. You know, I was looking at Joe Biden today. You look a lot younger than him. He's he's starting to age. I think uh, Biden's looking pretty pretty long in the tooth, yeah. 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 Maybe it's thinking. Huh? Maybe he'll drop out then. Nah. No. He, no. He, he'll just keep writing his positions on the palm of his hand. <laughs> so he so he can look and see what his position is today. Well, that's luckily, what, right now it's still standing. That goes for any politician. But I'll tell you, you know something. I got to tell you, uh, and and you'll you'll like this. Uh, uh, Politicians uh, include Arnold Schwarzenegger, what? John F. Kennedy. I didn't say. <laughs> I didn't say <laughs> that, that works. Oh, was that Alexa? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I didn't say her name. Okay, and she just started blurting that out. Schwarzenegger? Echo, shut the fuck up. Just <laughs> wanted to be part of the panel. Huh? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> anyway, I, I wish there were a way I could turn that off during a certain time. 
You know, I can turn it off, but I mean, just turn it. Well, off. I have it turn off automatically. Yeah. But anyway. I was in a customer's house the other day, and she uh, she says, uh, uh, "Alexa, turn on the lights," and uh, well, lights came on. Uh, she has special bulbs. It was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, well, you, you know how I... Uh, um, uh, I uh, you just go like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it is It is kind of an advanced version of the clapper, is it not? Yeah. Uh, but, uh, uh, no, I have... Um, how many? One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five uh, Alexis in this house. Mm. So anywhere I am, I can put something on a shopping list. Yeah, you know. that's important. Yeah, dude, wait, well, you remember how you used to write it on the refrigerator? Yeah, no I make more. a list sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So you know, I you I just say, Alexa, add such and such to my shopping list. The reason she isn't reacting is because that's not the word we use here. Yeah, because that sounds mm -hmm. too much like Alex, and then that would really cause problems. Yeah, you know, so, yeah, uh, whatever. Uh, I wish. Uh, I, I, you know what I like? What I do like is uh, on the iPhone, you can actually uh, make your iPhone respond to you with any name you want. So for a while there, I had it just uh, going, uh, calling me asshole. Mm. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You weren't asshole. Uh, uh, what do you want from me, asshole? You know, so you, you can put in any word Very nice. you want, but you can't do that on on uh, on Alexa. But, no. uh, anyway, did you hear about Jeff Bezos? By the way, that he's announced he's sending a rocket to the moon by 2024. Uh, who was it that had the blue the blue rocket? That's it. That's, that's Bezos. It? Yeah. yeah, that's Bezos. Uh, he's going to be the. Oh, uh, was he the one that also said he wanted to set up uh, uh, people living on? Uh, uh, was it the moon or, or no, Mars? That might be Somebody a, said that might. No, that be, was Musk. That must. That be, was Elon, Elon Musk. Musk. Yeah. yeah, everybody's got a different program of what they want to do. I uh, uh, I I think it'd be great if uh, you know Amazon uh, sends a, a rocket to the moon. It won't be on a Sunday. You imagine uh, but, what the uh, delivery charge would be, and do yeah, you get free yeah. delivery if you're prime? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'm saying, you know, it won't on on uh, Sunday. Yeah, on never Sundays. on Sunday. They won't deliver on Sundays unless you. Yeah, they deliver out here. Oh, they do deliver on Sunday out there now. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, you know, uh, and then that I uh, here was the other thing that went wrong yesterday. I have this thing, this this uh, raid, right? And I mm -hmm. and I put in a less than significant uh, drive in it because one of the drives was going bad. So I ordered another drive, and I couldn't... Get, I put it on the caddy, and I tried to put it in. It wouldn't fit in. It wouldn't go in. And then I noticed that I had ordered, and I didn't know there was this difference, an SAS drive instead of a SATA drive. Yeah. So now I had to send this thing back to get my money back on that and order a SATA drive, which, by the way, was uh, about 50 bucks cheaper. So, yeah. Well, the problem's going to be that uh, uh, Amazon's going to drop you from their customer list because you returned uh, an <laughs> item. You know, if you return too many things, well, they this isn't actually deem you of, to this, be a bad this customer. This isn't actually out of Amazon. It no. It is through Amazon, but it was through a third party. So when it's through a third party... You have to send it back to them, and they then have to credit your credit card. That, that uh, and Amazon doesn't do it. That's why whenever I buy something from Amazon, I try to see that it's available for Amazon Prime because then I get all the perks. If I don't like it, I just send it right back. And as a matter of fact, here's the best thing: I sent back something the other day uh, because it was a, Marjorie. No, it was a book I didn't like. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a wife I didn't like. No, it was a, a <laughs> book I didn't like. Hand. And um, I go down to I go down to UPS and I give them the book, right? I give them the package and everything, and they swipe it and everything. I get back within an hour. I've got a thing saying, "Okay, we've given you a refund," because they got word that it was on its way back. Yeah. So they're even faster than saying, "Well, we got to wait till it gets to us before we can give you your money back," you know. Yeah, I, I received something damaged the other day, and uh, the only 
uh, recourse I had was to bring it to the Amazon bookstore, which mm-hmm. is around the corner from me. But they actually have a bookstore, like Barnes and Noble had a bookstore. The, the, I never could Amazon figure out. Store. I could never figure oh, out why Amazon cool. did that because if you took a hint from uh, Barnes and Noble, uh, Barnes and Noble, uh, that don't work too well, you know. Uh, yeah, it didn't work. But you know what? I really like Barnes and Noble. I used to like to go there, sit down, have a cup of coffee, yeah. buy a magazine or a book. And you know, just you know why? Because you're old fashioned and you're an old fart, and you like that sort of thing, and and you like yeah. you like you know. I mean, I, I used to go there. What? I used to go there too because they used to get all the video game magazines. You couldn't get that like by me or the movie magazines. Yeah. I used to read them a lot and then return them back to the thing now. I yeah. used to buy one. Well, like I used to uh, look for the aren't the, aren't aren't the magazines you you look at all wrapped in plastic and you can't open them? <laughs> the only time I got that magazine when Alex wrote the article for that. Remember, you wrote the article for Bruce for Hustler. Hustler, yeah, yeah I actually bought that one. Well, I had to go on. What, what do you mean, what do you mean that one? I, I I wrote for him every month. I know, but I, I remember you, there was a certain article in there that you wrote in there that I wanted to read. You were talking about it on Sirius. Oh. And I told you I went to get it. I had to hide it from my mother. I, I, just, yeah, <laughs> I started out by writing articles for them, and then I wound up uh, writing a monthly column, which I, now that I remember, lasted about six years, something like that. Yeah, you were writing a lot, Alex. Yeah. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Not about sex. Everybody wondered, oh, it's Hustler Magazine. What are you writing about, sex? No, I wasn't. Um, that wasn't my uh, my intention. So anyway, so we got we got uh, Jeff Bezos sending rockets to the moon. Um, Kim Jong Un is sending rockets, but it didn't go that far. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, supposedly they say they're 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 that he's not violating any laws because it's not that it didn't go that far. Uh, yeah. Well, the other thing is, uh, I think he it, took his ship today, hmm? his biggest cargo ship. Uh, which had a coal coal on it. Yeah, uh, was in the waters near American Samoa, and we seized it. And, and where was it going to? It was going to uh, I think Iran, uh, Malaysia, or something. Iran, I think maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, uh, but it was a violation of the embargo, uh, and uh, they seized the ship. Now it's going to be interesting the next couple of days. You know, I, yeah. I wonder. I wonder. You know, we we go around telling people they can't do business with people. And I, 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 what right do we have to do that outside of just saying we don't like these people and we don't want you doing business with them? You could ask a favor maybe of another country and say, we hope you won't do business with them. But to say, hey, the, they're, they're, we're going to seize the ship because it was trying to go against the embargo we have against them. What else are they going to do? Well, it's not do? only us. It's the U.N. embargo. Yeah, well. I just, uh, you know. It sounds like piracy to me. It sounds like yeah. piracy. Yeah. Okay, here comes Patrick Blazik, and I'm sure it's going to say missed. Yeah. Now I have to go here, and I go to Patrick Blazik, and I go add Patrick Blazik, and I'm ready to go to put him up here so he can put me even more out of sync than I am already. Yeah, but it uh, fills the screen. Yeah. Let me see here. I think, yeah, there he is. Okay, let me see here. Darth Pat. Is what it is. Uh, There it is, Darth Pat. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me see here. Come on. Come on. Oh, I forgot to do that. Okay. There we go. Now we got him. There's Patrick. Hello, Patrick. Hi. Okay. Everybody else is in sync except for me. Isn't that amazing? No wonder. No, well, who cares? Oh, wait a minute. Somebody else is calling. Oh, you know. New screen. You know what it is? It's Tim. And I like you, Tim, but, you know, I hate the you don't have to. Ch- you don't have to change the screen for a, for a, uh, yeah, for I'm a not phone gonna, call. I'm not going to add him to the screen. That's right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, you're, just you're add him right. to the thing, but not the screen. And let's see. He doesn't go through either, so then I got to go here, and then I got to go. I see him. Here. When, wait a minute. Tim? You see Tim? No, I see his I see his phone. No, I don't I oh Tim Albright. Here we are. Tim Albright. Okay. I'll add Tim. Okay. Uh, Tim, are you there? 
Tim? Yep, the system that remains unseen. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we'll keep you unseen. It, it does, you know. He's in witness protection. I, I didn't say unseemly. Unseen. Yeah, yeah. I, I will we'll keep you unseen, oh. as it were, uh, since it uh, it's, be, it's better that way anyway. When are you going to get yourself a camera and a phone, huh? It's got a phone. I'm working on it, but um, we usually have people go going in and out of the room, and we've been babysitting, so... When that's over with, probably I'll get everything set Yeah, up. but it's not, it can't be as much fun for you either because we don't see you raise your hand, you know, and you have to get your words in edgewise. And, you know, it can't it's be It's a fun. conspiracy. Well, I feel like I, but I, I feel like I'm calling in on Sirius, and I actually got through. Yeah. 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 You mentioned Sirius. I, I signed up for Sirius the other day. And uh, I hadn't used the, I, I have a radio that was Sirius ready, and they put some sort of adapter on it so you could actually get it. So um, uh, it would cut out, uh, just like your Mac, it was cutting out like every 15 seconds. It, it wasn't, you couldn't even listen to the music. So uh, after a bunch of troubleshooting, I went back to where I bought it, and the guy says, oh, it's the antenna. So they fixed the antenna. Well, it turns out that Sirius Satellite isn't as good as it used to be five or six years ago when I had it before, because you know you go under an overpass, it's gone. Well, uh, you know it, it was always that way. Yeah, huh? I, I, I was up in the uh, I was up in the uh, Sierra Nevada, or maybe I was up I was up north, up near uh, Mendocino. That's where I was, and I was traveling through a forest, and I had Sirius Satellite radio in the car. And of course, I couldn't get it because the trees were covering it, and you could, you know. Yeah, in it's fact, the slightest. Here it, is here is the downside. Here's what here's what they don't tell you. If yeah. you live in New York City, it's you, you you subscribe to Sirius Satellite Radio. You know what you're getting? Terrestrial. Terrestrial. It's a terrestrial really? signal that they have. They have repeaters on the ground yeah. in many major cities so that you can get it because the buildings would prevent you from yeah. getting the satellite. That's the way Slingbox used to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Uh, but uh, so you know now they they adjusted the antenna, but it's still not that good. I mean, it's it's much better. Just why to why did something. why did you get serious? Uh, I have the radio that works with it, and finally they offered me for sixty dollars for a year of Sirius. <laughs> and, that's and, five and dollars. Truth, that's five dollars a month. A month, right? <laughs> And, I, and I'm just so tired of listening to the talk shows, uh, whether it's right wing, left wing, you know, the, the, this it's the same thing. It sounds like Gabnet. So I, I said, well, maybe I'd like to listen to Cousin Brucey. Well, Cousin Brucey is not from this century anymore. He is so old and his voice has gone. I don't know if you've listened to him. Yeah. You know, the 60s on six. But he does not have a voice anymore, and he can't remember the word cousin. So you know, I he has think... a he has a hairpiece that's older than I am. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's... Yeah. He's he's you know Funny he's joke. been on for uh, since the fifties, I think, right? Huh. Yeah. The, the mid fifties oh, is when he started in radio. Yeah. Uh, I, I I get. No, I don't know. I don't know. W I N S. Uh, 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 well. A anyway, you know his his voice. It, it's shot, you know, and I because I haven't listened to Sirius Satellite in five or six years. Uh, after I I bought this car, it came with Sirius for a year, and I let it expire, and that was it. And they've been sending me cards ever since. Mm -hmm. And now I just decided I am tired. You know, it sounded pretty good five or six years ago, and uh, it's uh, it's not what it hey, used to be. Mm -hmm. Hey, does anybody have Spectrum? Spectrum. Uh, no. I, uh, I don't know. Oh, Spectrum is uh, like Comcast, right? It's right. a uh, we just, provider. I mean, we, we just were told that uh, they're going to have their own TV show, original uh, content starting in the middle of the month. Oh. So well, is that I'm, horizontal or vertical expansion? Mm -hmm. I'm, that's vertical. And there's a newscast that's on locally on the spectrum uh, on the cable network. It's, I think it's channel one for me and every time I turn the television on it's on that station. So wherever I left off it goes back to this new spectrum 
news station. So that that's the newest that I've heard of of any programming. And it's it's mostly local. I haven't really watched it to see if there's any can stuff. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, it, it that that's a new thing now. So Karamucci is uh, negotiating to change that to the Trump TV channel, but it'll take him a few more months. What to what the Trump TV channel? It, so the, Trump would, would Trump would love to have a channel with that when you turn your TV on. That's the first show that shows up. He would, yeah. he would love it. Yeah. Okay. But He's got it. It's most, called Gabnet. That's true. It's most, well, it's called Fox News. Most the restaurants mm. and bars run Fox News. Well, yeah. yeah, I guess. You know, I, I listen, I'm, I'm telling you right now, that, uh, let me get that uh, serious, uh, not serious, but that Skype off of there. See, that's the trouble. When you start talking, Skype's logo comes up, and I hate to give them any free advertising. God knows I have them in every corner of every picture that I can't get rid of. Well, I, you know, I noticed it was, when it was full screen, uh, the Skype logo came up for Tim. Why Why is that, uh, if he's not part of that program that you're moving it over to? Well, because because he's, he's, he's doing it by phone, and so they, they uh, automatically put a... A, uh, a a Skype a Skype logo, a logo in. There. I wonder why it's showing up on the on the YouTube. Uh, well, because it's it's the because oh. because when whenever he starts talking, that comes up. That's why I hate people calling using the phone. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's not as much. Kill the phone number, huh? You yeah. know, uh, he could call using. Oh no, even if he called using Skype and no, he didn't I, have. His I have to have a I have to have a thing. phone number for him to be able to call. So yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I could do away with the phone number. I mean, I pay what three dollars a month for that, which is uh, half of what you pay for Sirius. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, I get to hear cousin Brucey. Oh, good for you. Yeah, lucky, lucky you. Well, he's more cognizant than uh, Biden. You know, I mean, what's happening here in uh, in in New York is uh, it's been announced that I think May 29th is the last day for WPLJ to be on the air here in New York. Uh, and are you going? Did you go, or are you going? No, on the 21st is a gathering on the 21st. I'm going. The only thing is, the only reason I didn't want to go was I was probably one of the first guys on WPLJ. Okay. Uh, and then they went to uh, America, uh, New York's greatest music or whatever format, and that's what they kind of became known as the music station. When I started out, they were known as kind of a progressive oddball station in which I did a morning show on a music station, okay, doing talk, all right? And then I went on overnight doing talk. It was uh, it was progressive music and all of that, so... Uh, uh, um, th- that's what we did, and then all of a sudden it started going to New York's best rock, and they, you know it started having a format, formatted music, and all of that. And it wasn't the inventive station that I joined. Okay, so basically everybody there is going to be people from that era. How you do know? you know that? Because the people from my era are dead. <laughs> well, you know, John at least they can march you dead. out and say, "Look, we got one." <laughs> Herman is dead. Uh, Zachary is dead. Uh, who else is dead? Is Carol Miller dead? Well, she wasn't on. Yeah, there. I was going to say, is Carol Miller alive? So I think she is. I think she is, but I don't know if she was on with us. She wasn't on with us. No. I used to call. Hey, Alex. Alex. Yeah. You should go dressed as Beetlejuice. Why? <laughs> they would get it then. They would? Okay. Well, anyway, so I don't feel I'm going to have anybody to talk to, so uh, the only reason I'm going is because Albert's going, because Albert worked at the station at one point, you know. We, are you going to stream it live? No. <laughs> Why? What do, what do I want to show? A bunch of wrinkled old radio people? That's, uh, what are they going to do with the station? Then? Uh, they're just going, it's, going, it. it's going to religious music. Oh, now, there's a format New York really needs. Now it'll make money. Huh? <laughs> now it'll make money. 
Yeah, I guess. Mm-hmm. I guess. How you, how you doing, yeah. Eddie? You haven't said anything tonight, so let's say hello to Eddie Jordan. Hi. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. Yeah? Yeah? What? Yeah. Anything new and exciting in your life? Uh, not really. It's just my, my work schedule is why I didn't log on last week, because yeah. it we alternate. Yeah, four tens, four tens or five eights, and last week was four tens, so it was a little late for me. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you do, Eddie? I work in uh, uh, oil refinery. Ah, that's right. Yeah, and but you get enough time off to go to Thailand. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because uh, I'm a contractor, so was, oh. I usually have a, a few months off a year. Yeah, which works for me. Mm, that's good. So, what do you do in Thailand? Uh, you know, when you when you're there, you just hang out, or you, you what, what, what's Thailand uh, offer for an American? Well, my wife's family lives there, so uh, that's, that's why I, I go up to uh, it's a new look. And uh, this last trip, we we went down to Jong uh, Tian Beach and rented a house there for a few days, and uh, just. Played tourist, you know. Yeah. Does Thai food taste like it does here? Like Chinese food, I believe. I've never been to China, but Alex says that the Chinese food is different than what we get here. Is Thai food made for Americans here, and it's different in Thailand? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's different. It's, yeah. it's not as spicy as it is in Thailand. No, in, oh, really? in Thailand, it's very spicy. Yeah. 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 Spicy, and you might... They, uh, especially if you get away from, you, you get further away from Bangkok, you have a lot more uh, fried bugs and spiders and stuff like that. Oh, yummy, mm. yummy, yummy. Yeah. Well, it's protein. Yeah. I, I guess. You can calories can erode your brain. So, listen, I want well, you, you burn it off catching them, though. Yeah. I, I, why we have a lot of people watching tonight? Why they're waiting? For, you know what they're doing? They're watching the show because they're waiting for it to go bad. That's <laughs> that's what they're doing. They they love nothing more than to watch me in a flop sweat. But anyway, that's why I called in. I do want to see it go bad too. See you know, happens. I'll tell you. I I I I I got to tell you, and I mean, I know that I'm out of sync, folks. So please excuse me. I just put my hand up, and then oh, it's fine. It's about like about. Let's see here. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4, almost four seconds behind on my picture. Everybody else is fine, and I'm running the picture that I have going out over Skype, so I don't know. But anyway, forget it. Don't, don't, don't watch what I'm saying, okay? Um, I, I, I fell asleep with MSNBC on today uh, because I was exhausted. And uh, it was on. And so I kind of heard it, you know, while you're asleep. And I finally, when I woke up, said, I can't take this shit anymore. (laughs) You know, I cannot take this constant, incessant droning of them having a format called All Trump All the Time. Sign up for Sirius, uh, and for 60 bucks, you can get Cousin Brucey. Yeah, right. (laughs) But (laughs) all, 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 um, uh, Trump all the time. That's all they were talking about. Trump this, Trump Jr., yeah. this this person, that person. Oh, it's a congressional crisis, constitutional crisis. It's a this, it's a that. Now, hey, I'm as left as you can get, but quite frankly, I find that network a fucking bore. I agree. Am I wrong? Yeah, I can't watch it. I can't watch it anymore either. I think this is you know any of them anymore. Hmm? I'm tired of the whole taxes too. Uh, yeah, the I'm tax, ready for a tax. Trump free Enough zone. Enough of the fucking taxes already with Trump. Well, no, he I doesn't mean, have to show his taxes. Yes, he does. Yeah. It's not in the law. Yes, he I does. Mean, yeah, like yeah, yes, he, he does. Look, have. if I've if I've got to show my taxes to rent an apartment, then he goddamn well should be able to show his taxes to be president of the United States. The reason we need to see his taxes is to make sure he has no uh, uh, interest in other things that would compromise his presidency. But they said it's not against the law. No, though. no, that doesn't matter. 
what it matters is it's against the law to have investments, which you're then voting your best interests on and getting things done in your own best interest, and we don't know what your own best interests are. Right. Yeah. He has the does, power to does be he the vote? Best. Huh? Does he, he, he vote on anything? No, it he is a question. What, what I you, thought it was the Congress and the Senate that what, votes on what, stuff. What did you say, uh, uh, Tim? Tim? Uh, his, his, he couldn't do it anyway. It's a counterintelligence problem, whether he's in compromise. And he never di his family never divested. Right. Yeah, but, but what I'm saying is, is that forget about compromising. It is a, a fact that we should have to know uh, uh, what his interests are because he is working, is he old, working his own best self-interest. When he says something yeah. wonderful about Russia and then we find out he has a deal he was trying to make or there was some loan he got from Russia, uh, we, we have to ask whether that doesn't compromise the presidency. And we, yes, have a right as, and we have a right as the public to know that. Yes, uh, Eddie? Yeah, he, he's in a position, or any president's in a position to be the biggest insider trader in the world. Mm -hmm. he, he, very good point. Very there, good there point. Actually, there's actually, uh, at it, one no time, penalty. they might, they might have changed it, I'm not sure, but there was no law against insider trading by members of Congress. There was no law that they could do it, and they did do it. Yeah, that's how they all get rich, but I think they might have changed that. They did change that. it. I don't know. Did they? Yeah. Try? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think you can't. You, you can't do insider trading. I noticed, by the way, that that that, that Scott has on his screen. He he has his blur on for the background. You really like that blur, don't you? Here's yeah, the, I don't want to see he, my other. Computer. Here's here's what I don't get about the blur. Uh, and again, I'm out of sync. I apologize, folks. But you don't care. You don't mind, do you? Uh, um, uh, on my machine here, I can't do the blur. Okay, it's just yeah. not it's just not on my Skype. I go mm -hmm. over to another machine that has Skype. Okay, and um, it's it doesn't do the blur. Then I go over to Marjorie's and she has the same exact version of Skype that I'm running on another machine and she has the blur. What camera does she use and what camera are you using? Uh, are you using the same a separate camera? The same exact camera I'm using right here. Wow. Well, so I'm wondering what is the, why, why do some people have the blur and other people don't have the blur? Now, I also have the preview version of Skype. I, I'm signed up where every time they up Upgrade Skype when they're trying new stuff out on Skype. They upgrade to this uh, uh, this on preview, and uh, I should be getting it right. Wrong, not getting you it. You have the newest version. <laughs> yes, I have the newest yeah. version. Yeah. Those fuckers. They refuse to admit they're wrong. They refuse to admit they fucked up. You know. Know anybody else like that? Huh? <laughs> These companies they refuse to admit when they're wrong. When they when you know when they've made some kind of mistake, uh, I I don't know why, you know, I I'm I'm amazed at it. It's just ridiculous. But, uh, what the hell? Somebody's job. Mm -hmm. You know they don't want to lose it. Well, but I mean to write me and tell me that I've got to do all this shit. No, you got to do all your shit. Okay, you've got to do what you got to do to make your program work optimally and to my advantage. I shouldn't have to tell all my people, hey, well, listen, let's all hang up now and just unload the version you've got and then reload a new version in. Did he Great. ask you if you'd plugged in your machine? Huh? Uh, <laughs> and uh, did, when he wrote you, was, uh, was it, did it sound like uh, when you read it, did it sound like it was an Indian? Yeah, well, I don't know. I go, let me, let me uh, go get Charlene Martinez here now because of this fucked up thing of, of Skype. Oh, Charlene's uh, coming in. Yeah, yeah. We'll, uh, uh, change we'll, the machine. We'll, we'll bring uh, Charlene yeah, we'll in here you. and we'll put her in the number seven slot instead of that, uh, that Skype picture. Uh, let me see here. Where is Charlene? Charlene, Charlene, Charlene. Where is she? I can't find her. Uh, let me see here. Oh, I thought I wasn't allowed oh, oh, on, oh, oh, so I'm like befuddled what, what, here. Yeah, but okay. what, what name do you use? Is it like Chardonna, like an email? or? No, I think it's this one, if I'm not mistaken. 
Is it that one? No, that's local Skype. No, that's not. I, oh, oh I see me. Okay. Wait a minute. I can't. I can't find your name here. I got Tony. I, I got see her on the screen. Him. I got yeah, Ed. That doesn't I matter. got Charlie what? Wallace. Charlie? I got. If anybody's and, naked, I think well, I'll see it. Let me try it up here. <laughs> yeah. Is that you? Uh, there. Uh, no. That's that's that's. Uh, huh. Charlene, what is your Skype handle? You know. Uh, I think it's Charlene twenty four. Like what uh, I had to sign in for. Yeah. Like no, I, well, I just found her. I just found her. You know what you are, Charlene. Listen. Well, listen to this. Listen to this. This is ridiculous. You're uh, 3A19156. Uh, 9A6B541FD. That's what you like are. Or you like that. okay, so that's your. That's your. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, you know what can let, me, let, let me see here. Let I me just. Enter. Huh? What's that's, your name? Name? that's that's her mobster name. That's her mobster I heard name. I say there's a way to go in and fix that. I should try to do that, right? Uh, you probably or get a different account. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I'd better try to edit the one I have. That would make it even more complicated to have too many accounts, right? <laughs> you can delete. Uh, well, me, I'll try to fix that. I'll try to go in and do it or something. Yeah, but I have you, a friend that can fix it or something. Yeah. Well, it's just a matter of changing your name there. That's all you got. Trump yeah, had a, a fixer. Huh? And what should I do? Put like my name. <laughs> make it like oh. Charlene Martinez, like 158 or something. Yeah. Or whatever yeah. they'll make it 387 or. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. But well, anyway. on my on my screen it has Charlene Martinez. You know, yeah. I, I'll tell you. I wanted to ask a question tonight because uh, we, uh, and it was a question we kind of asked the other night, and uh, uh, I, I think it's an important question to ask in this day and age. You know, we, we constantly because I listen, you know, listen to these news outfits, and they're getting more and more boring and more and more self-serving. Mm -hmm. And you, you, you wonder what the American public considers to be the biggest, most important issues right now. And so I'd like to go around the panel here and ask you, what is the singular you think most important issue we have to deal with today? Uh, and, and forget about saying, you know, honest government and whatever, because that, that's, that's nebulous. I'm talking about, you know, problems that we have that it won't wait till next week to fix. We got to start fixing them now, okay? So let's start with Charlie. Charlie? Well, it's either climate change or it's the the uh, uh, women's rights. Either one of them. I mean, they're they're, they're going to make women wear chastity belts and stuff by the time they get done. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so you say no, okay, but let, let's let, let's let's <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, let's let's try and and be a little more specific. You got to pick one of those two. Which do you think okay. is the most important? It would have to be climate change because it's going to kill the human race in 50 years if we don't do something. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Eddie? Well, I was going to say uh, the abortion issue, the way it's so many more restrictions are coming up these days on something that was settled a long time ago. Yeah, okay. I didn't, I didn't even think that one was on the list, but... Um, I'm glad you brought it up. Uh, Phil. Uh, right now, I think it's North Korea. You know, uh, we're, uh, we're having, we're at an impasse. And uh, you know, I, I don't know if he's suicidal, but uh, it's not good. Uh, I think if we're, we're going to look at something that is affecting us today, uh, the, North no, Korea if might you, be. If you're looking at something that has to be solved today. I mean, you, you'd put that there. I mean, I don't. I I would disagree with you that North Korea is on the list. Uh, I think North Korea is a problem, and I think it has to be dealt with, and it has to be dealt with adroitly, and uh, uh, but uh, not by you know going. Well, we won't have to worry about climate change if uh, uh, you know the uh, we don't it, solve well, this you're, issue you're, with you're, North you're, Korea. You, well, I, you see, I would. Uh, why did that just? Why did that just go bloop? Somebody tried to call, I think, or something. Mm. I don't know. 
Oh, we're, we're going out, and we still got Skype. Oh, well, here, here, here we go. Uh, oh, mail delivery system, warning. Oh, something was, oh, forget that. Years, days ago, I answered a, a, an email from one of my hosting services. Oh, uh, be free, uh, oh yeah, uh, be free, which is uh, Brie, says that it's, uh, it, he says climate change. Anyway, uh, I, I don't know that, that, that Kim Jong-un is that dangerous a factor because if he, if he ever tries to act up and do something, like lob a missile at the west coast of the United States, for, what is that? What is that? What? Uh, Tony, you got your window open? Sounds no. like a missile. What the hell is that? It's North Korea. Imagine he's, he's shooting me again. What the hell was that? I don't Kim know. Jong -un. That's scary. Um, um, Kim Jong Un is a problem, but if he ever tried to lob a missile over here, we'd intercept it before it got here, and then he his country would be burnt toast within what hours. What if he lobbed it on the South Korea? On South Korea, we, he'd still be nothing but uh, charred toast. So know? would South Korea. I mean, you know, those are our allies, and it would spark. Uh, I think it would spark something even greater. Uh, you know, possible world war. I, I I don't think that with the kind of missile power we have, and 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 what uh, what they're capable of, that they could last very long in any kind of a conflict do, against do us. You think China would stand by? Uh, I think allow, China, allow China, China, North Korea. China would not involve themselves in a war. Okay, no. they're not ready to do that. I don't think. But anyway, we're getting in. We're, it, it, I'll, I'll accept that you think that that's the biggest problem. I don't. I don't agree with you. That that's the biggest problem, Scott. Gear up. I, I, I agree with the other guys that climate change is the most important thing to my children. It's not going to affect me at all. I don't believe, but it's my children. It's going to affect. Yeah. Um, as a, as another side note, I think they need to get all the religious kooks out of the government this the uh the the you know senate and the congress and get to the business of running the government and not being you know separating uh, uh church and state church and state i guess is what it's called i think that would solve a lot of problems mm -hmm. uh how about you tony what what's the, what's the big issue right now my big issue and it's the only issue i really think that's really that always bothered me would be single payer health care. Mm -hmm. And they have to get that right. I think it'll solve a lot. So it would be health care in, healthcare in general. Yes, yes. Right. health care for all. Yeah. Some kind of basic coverage that they come up with. They will put their heads in and they get their act together. Well, we should also, right we should also ma mention that it should be good health care. You know, it can't yeah, just be I mean, cursory health care like, well, you've got to go to the clinic and you've got to get a doctor. Last week was doing abortions and this week is doing uh, Lansing pimples, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You, you know, you want. If you yeah. get sick off a bit, you like, you know, I was listening to Ronnie the other day, your, your ex-wife. She had to go for a CT scan. Like, off a bit, say if I had cancer, I should be able to walk into Sloan and they should treat me. Yeah. Without any questions. Yeah, that's right. That's right. The richest country in the world. Greatest She'll country in the world, yeah, yeah. You don't have to worry about. Oh, I don't know if you're going to take my insurance. Is it out of network? Take my fucking thing. Come on, let's get the fucking ball going here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, t uh, Patrick, what is the big issue? Uh, either North Korea or Iran. Really, you're going along with the with the with the who's going to attack us uh, deal, right? Um, yeah. I mean, I I look at. North Korea, and I look at Iran as issues that are beyond just the United States. I think they are world issues. Uh, Phil touched on it with North Korea. If they were to launch a missile, very true, Alec, we could intercept it. But then you create a possibility of a world war. You got South Korea there. And then in the Middle East, mm -hmm. it's already a fucking hornet's nest as it is. And it's almost sort of maybe calm in comparison to what it's been in years, even though there's fighting going on. And you have Iran start some bullshit over there, and we have to respond. Um, it, 
it just it it gonna make it work. So I I look at North Korea and Iran are the two biggest issues that not only the United States but the world is facing. Mm-hmm. So it's hey, so I bad. got a concern got- about climate change. Wanted, sorry, so yeah. Uh, oh, okay, well, anyway. we'll get to you in a second, Tim. I'm going to Charlene next. Charlene? Oh, thank God nobody took this, and I hope it's a, a viable uh, topic or whatever. World I'm going to say gun control. Yeah, good one. Yeah. Okay, thank God no one took it. <laughs> well, I, I think each and every day that we have another one of these incidents, it becomes more yeah, and more. Alex, every know, day this see, week. Did yeah. you see the thing I saw? I, I forget where it was, but they went into a house or something, and there was like an arsenal in there again. Mm-hmm. They, was, they, they had, had like Bella, rifles, and was, I mean, it was it, amazing it was the get, what they it took was out. The Go Getty ahead, Mansion in Bel Air. Yeah. I mean, it's amazing that it the cachet or whatever it was. I mean, they had so many rifles and things. It was, it was ridiculous. Mm-hmm. I thought I Getty mean, lived on Broadway in San Francisco. Yeah. Does he also live in Bel Air? Probably. One of their other houses. Yeah. No. Uh, okay, Tim, you're up. What is it, uh, this? Well, I got a conspiracy theory to throw in for for Patrick. <laughs> uh, uh, that you know, the trouble with Iran, they're saying, is I don't know if I believe them that Iran's trying to move their missiles or their arsenal around on ships. Did it, Did anybody see the brink? On the brink, the HBO show with Jack no. Black. Hmm. That one of the themes in there was. Iran and, and uh, North Korea were working behind the scenes, and together they were quite, quite, quite able because Iran had the money, and the North Korea didn't. They were behind the but, but, scenes Tim, building Tim, this great arsenal of nuclear Tim, weapons. Tim, watch Tim, out, but, Tim, Tim. Uh, uh, my major concern is climate change. Okay. I would also modify that to include pollution because clean air and clean water, not to mention the well, Roundup that, works. That, that all, that, that's all pretty much in the same wheelhouse, I would say. Right, yeah. but... But I think you need to remind people it's not just we're worried about it getting warm. Our children are, and us are breathing in nasty air. Nasty. nasty well, air. I, oh, I, I yeah, 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 Charlene, she has her hand up. I'm sorry. I just wanted to add before the climate change. Thing. Next week, it's supposed to rain like it has this week. Well, so there's definitely something going on, and I think that we have to do something. Well, there's something I, I, I don't on. know if that's evidence of anything, Charlene, but we do know that there are things happening to this planet overall that are not boding well for the future. And it's young people right now who are yelling and screaming about climate change and who are saying we got to do something about climate change because they well, the realize polar bears and all well that, they yeah. realize they're going to have to live with it and if they're not going to live with it it's for sure that their children that they're going to have are going to have really have well, to have live with it. Well we have 12 years or is it 11 years? Well they, what they're saying is 100 well, we 100 years from now we may not have a habitable planet. That's what they're saying. Okay? So if you say that then you say that some kid who's now you know, 13 years old and yelling about this, maybe he'll be 20 when he, uh, let's say, has kids, and those kids are going to live to be a certain age. Uh, it's going to be 100 years from now. They're going to have to deal with it. And that it, it's, it's not getting any better, and anybody who thinks that it's not getting any better is, is, is really denying uh, the, the future. And I, I don't give a shit. I'm not going to be here to see this devastation. Okay, neither and neither are you, Phil, and neither mm-hmm. are you, Charlie, and neither is anybody on this panel. Neither is Patrick, who's holding his hand up now, because this is one of the does, topics. Does, does, does anybody think but, they might be reincarnated well, on the panel? Who knows? Patrick, you've got your hand up. I know this is a topic you have feelings about. Well, I, I, I just wanted to make an observation, not promote an argument on it. Mm-hmm. it I find it interesting you just said a hundred years. I think Charlie said fifty years. Somebody, I forget who it was, if it was Mayor uh, Booty Kissed or whatever, Booty Judge, was like twelve years, and then somebody else just said ten years. So this is why I personally don't give a flying fuck about this topic because I don't think anybody really knows what the fuck, when, how, or any of it because 
we have the span of 90 years between what you said, Alan, mm -hmm. and what I guess that Mayor Booty, Booty Kissed or whatever. Okay. Said. You know, it, hey, wait a minute. First, first of all, there's first. a difference. The 10, 10 to 12 year period, 10 to 12 years, we're going to have extreme major disasters. It's going to create economic and uh, it's going to put. It's going to create wars because people will be without things. The hundred-year period is a point in time where nobody, nobody can live at all on this earth, yeah. and human yeah. beings will. Th see that's why those. I said a hundred, a hundred years when uh, life will be inhabitable here. Uh, when you go right, fifty totally years, you're saying things are going to be bad in fifty years, and you're saying in twelve years we're going to start seeing noticeable changes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Charlie has his fingers up. Yeah, I was going to make that, that point. The 12 years was 12 years will reach the point of no return. We won't be dying right away, but it'll be inevitable because you won't be able to reverse what happened so that by 50 to 100 years in the future, uh, the planet will be uninhabitable. Yes. The planet's still going to be here, but humans won't. Patrick? I, I've got a question then with Al Gore. From what I remember, because I saw part of his documentary any convenient uh, truth yeah. i know miami was supposed to be underwater and part of the eastern seaboard and i'm wondering what happened with that and that's another reason you don't buy into this as being uh, proof positive science because he was predicting this back in the 90s that by now all of this would have happened and he's off by like 20 or 30 years at the best, even if he'd write. So what the hell Miami, is Miami does have the ocean coming inland. Yeah, high tides, often, it floods now. It so floods now, and they, got, they had to the build rain. barricades. Yeah, but here's the thing. There are so many hotels going up in the Miami area. Do you think developers would be stupid enough to be putting $5 million dollar building up if they were fearful that their investment were going to be gone in a very short period of time. I can't imagine anybody would. Because well, so, the developers get their money and then they get out. Yeah. They get their money and they get out. Trump gets his money up front. He doesn't require the building to, to maintain itself. Florida swampland, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the Governor Inslee had a good answer for all the critics of climate change. Because the corporations and the industries, it's too much money to do this. And actually, it's going to create jobs. But anyway, it's too much money. We can't afford the, the, the new Green New Deal. Well, then he says, how, can they, how are they going to pay for Paradise, Paradise, California? And then the major flooding that was in the Midwest. How are they going to pay for the billions of dollars that that damage? Okay, Charlene. Charlene. Charlene just froze up, which means, well, there, Charlene, are you there? She's frozen, sort of. Yeah, she's frozen. No, well, uh, Charlene. I see her eyes opening like every five seconds. They're they're just getting wider. Oh really? Yeah, it's a bandwidth thing. Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh well. Uh, Charlene, are you there? Can you hear us? No, I guess we can't uh, hear her. But we. You know, what happens is that when we do this program uh, and people are talking to us and then all of a sudden they are talking to us or they freeze up or they they hang up or the bandwidth goes bad, their picture still stays there. Like Charlie the other night, I guess, was there for, yeah. you know, for like uh, a half hour just. <laughs> in spirit. I was there in spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, uh, in Houston, is it Houston today that they, um, uh, they, they're they having floods? Uh, Kings something, uh, Texas? Is, is that near uh, where Scott is? Uh, King, Kings? Uh, Scott got off, but there's, there was, there's massive minute, flooding. Scott, did Scott get off? Did yeah, I think off? so. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, because you see he's frozen here, so I don't, yeah. I don't, uh, yeah. So um, let me see here. I'm going to make some changes here so that we get rid of Charlene and we get rid of. Uh, uh, but go ahead anyway, as you as you were. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, you know, 
uh, I was just uh, surprised that I, I meant to ask Scott mm -hmm. about uh, this place. It sounded like it was near where he was, mm -hmm. but they're they're having a lot of problems in Texas right now yeah. with oh. flooding, and they're saying that it was worse than the uh, last one. Was, mm -hmm. When you mentioned paradise, it made me think of uh, you know what's going on in Texas right now. Yeah, yeah all the softball games this week in Austin have been rained out. It's been raining mm. all week. Yeah. No. Uh, okay, there we go. So I got rid of I got rid of Charlene and I got rid of um, of Scott because they weren't there, and all I got was eh, frozen person. You know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, you know, I I my answer would be the 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 uh, 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 climate, and it, and it, it's only because. I see it as the mo it's something we have to attend to today to make sure it doesn't happen tomorrow. Uh, and that's that's what... what, what, is, what? Oh, th there's Charlene trying to get in. Charlene? Yeah. Charlene, I think maybe... Test, maybe testing. Oh, Hello. Uh, it's better now. Oh, really? You, Charlene, you got to pay your Skype bill. <laughs> yeah, Charlene, are you there, Charlene? Can you hear us? Charlene, can you hear us? You know what I should do? I probably should hang up on her. Yeah. And then that will make her either call back or give up, one or the other. So remove from call. Okay. So I removed her from the call. And uh, if she wants to call back, you know, we're more than happy to have her with us. You know, it would be very nice. So anyway, uh, where were we? Oh, yeah. So climate change. Oh, yeah. So on the climate change question, I mean, we're really dealing with something uh, that is a, a preeminent problem that we have to de deal with today, I think, uh, and that we can't deal with tomorrow uh, because tomorrow is going to be too late. And uh, we, we don't want it to get that way. We don't want it to get to that point. Here. You know, so. Uh, hey, I got a bridge in Brooklyn. <laughs> there's a connection between climate. There's a connection between climate change and North Korea. Since we brought that up, mm -hmm. they had the worst harvest in decades. They only get 11 ounces of food a day. The reason that Kim Jong Un shot missiles is he's got to do something. If they have another bad harvest next year because of climate change, he will have no choice but to start some kind of war. That's how climate change is a national security issue yeah. and can lead to war. And then you've got India, and you want to even talk about India and Pakistan, who's all nuked up. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Uh, as these major, if your population is going to die and you're going to lose everything, you'll go to war. Uh, and now I guess we're going to give them some food, but we confiscated their coal. So, <coughs> so they can't cook it. A day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's unbelievable. Okay, let me see here. I think we have Charlene in the picture now. There we go. Okay, there we go. There's Charlene. The Pentagon takes climate change very seriously. That should tell you something. Yep. Can, can I say what I was going to say, Alex? Yeah, yeah, sure. Go right ahead. Now, I saw a thing, and I apologize that I can't remember. Like, it was a show about Mexico, right? Mm -hmm. Now, Mexico City is built on a lake mm -hmm. and the Spaniards had um, aqueducts that they, they drew out the water from the lake to build Mexico city on it. Like, so there's like a problem in Mexico that it's going to be like Florida. They're going to end up underwater, they say. So when they were talking about Florida, it just it jogged my memory. You know, you didn't see that or anything like that. No, but I'm sure it existed. I, I, you know, I have seen documentaries on something that's kind of interesting, and that is that water is saleable now in a lot of countries where people don't Mexico's have water. Mexico's the biggest user of, of water like that, yeah. Yeah, and that there were certain countries that were, in fact, arresting people for capturing water in a bucket when it rained. When it rained. Yeah. America. <laughs> it's illegal in many states in, in the United really? States. Where, yeah. where, where? Um, uh, I'd have to look it up, but I know that it's illegal to uh, to capture rainwater. And uh, uh, let me let me look it. 
Uh, I'll, I'll find which states. I thought California was one of them. No, I'm no joke. Have Trump hates Mexico. If if he waits long enough, they're going to be underwater anyway, right? Like <laughs> with Florida. Yeah. Um, the Scott is 300 miles from Houston. What does that mean? <laughs> I, I just got a thing from 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 Merv on my on my watch, on my watch that says that uh, 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 Scott is 300 miles from Houston. Is that's what is that why he hung up or we lost him? Uh. Oh, I I didn't know the response to uh, Phil's question about yeah. uh, the rain and yeah. The flooding. Yeah. Uh, did you find anything, Phil? Yeah, Arizona, Colorado, Oklahoma, and Utah. Really? Yeah. And, and why? How do they justify that law? Does it say? Uh, let me look. Uh, the question I asked was uh, what states uh, don't allow uh, rainwater collection? Yeah. But uh, by the way. Well, uh, here's one yeah. story. I'm still reading. He, he set up illegal dams and made his own reservoir. Who is this? To collect rain. A guy got arrested in Oregon. Oh, so he was collecting but it to sell it. He had uh, he made uh, man-made reservoirs with boat docks and boats, and stocked with fish from from rainwater. You know what I don't understand, and and we don't we haven't done this, but why haven't we um, done something about? taking various waste materials and repurposing them into potable water. And why haven't we been able to take the seawater and make it potable and usable? Uh, the Israelis have. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, but we have It's very expensive, though. Is it very expensive? Yeah, to, 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 to uh, take fresh water from seawater. you got to evaporate the water. Hmm. It takes a lot of energy. Okay, but then you've also got salt left over too, don't you? Yeah, but you know, then they sell out to cities up north so they can use it in the winter. Right. You can also use reverse osmosis. That works. Mm -hmm. Very expensive, though. Yeah. Uh, you basically have membranes that let the water through, but the salt molecules are too big and it filters them out, but it's expensive, you know, the equipment. Here's what I never could quite figure out. I always had a theory. See, I mean, what what uh, when you shit? Uh, what gas is produced when you shit? Methane. 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 And methane. Methane can be turned into power, right? Yeah. How come we're you letting you strike a match? Why do we flush this shit down the toilet and then it goes out into a pipe and then that goes somewhere else and who knows where it winds up? Some sewage plant somewhere or something. Yeah. But we don't convert the methane into anything. <laughs> and and that could be used to create some forms of power. And th therefore, the there's, more there's, people we have on the earth, the more power we have. Mm -hmm. It's too expensive. They, they I'm have telling you right now. Hmm? I they gave a mother a scroll of beans yesterday. She was shit like crazy. Yeah. But, <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Wait, let me, let they, me. We burn millions of cubic feet every second in Michigan from wells because it's too expensive to catch the net. Catch the natural gas out of the ground. Yeah, we're talking about, in Texas too, uh, because it's just too expensive. So until you find a way to catch it, um, it's just crazy. But you know, we're on the edge of uh, developing fusion anyway. In San Francisco, we used to have down the South Bay a uh, uh, an outdoor theater. I can't remember the name of it now. Uh, it, it, oh, the uh, rock uh, things, uh, uh, Bill Graham's thing? Yeah, yeah. What was um, the name of the place? Yeah, what's it called? Uh, starts with an S. Shoreline, Shoreline. Amphitheater. Shoreline. Yeah. Shoreline Amphitheater. And what they had was this, this lawn. Uh, they had seats, and then there was a lawn behind it that people could sit on and, that, and watch concerts, right? Uh, but it was mm. built over a garbage dump. Oh my and God, one day, all of a sudden, people are sitting there watching the concert in flames of fire. <laughs> Come up <laughs> from the from the uh, from the uh, uh, lawn, and yeah. uh, it was uh, the methane had suddenly decided <laughs> that it had ruminated enough under this lawn that it created, and it decided. And somebody, I guess, was smoking or lit a, um, uh, a f yeah. light, and literally the lawn caught fire. Oh my God! You know, uh, yeah, this uh, rainwater stuff. 
Some yeah. states promote harvesting rainwater, like Hawaii. And then uh, there are other states that, because of legislative issues, I, I, I think they just don't want you to do it. I, I don't think they have a, a, a good reason uh, the water, to not well, do well, it. Well, the, the, the reason in certain parts of South America that they do it is because they sell that rainwater. They yeah. want to make money off mm -hmm. of it, you know? Yeah. And uh, 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 so they make it against the law, literally against the law. You're considered stealing if you put a bucket out and it's raining and you let it fill with water and then you use it to drink. Mm -hmm. uh, so they, they in Colorado, they say it's an injury to water rights uh, and the, uh, the water board. Uh, you remember we uh, we watched that movie Chinatown. That was all about water rights, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, and and of Chinese course we know what the water board is about. That's something that Trump probably <laughs> agrees with doing. No, that's a Bush thing. Uh, it's a Bush thing. Okay, okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, gee, uh, by the way, let me let me throw a few more quick items out here because we only got a couple of minutes. Um, do you remember a guy by the name of Matt Lauer? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's in Australia, yeah. right? Yeah, he was a guy who had, a, had an automatic oh. lock on his door at NBC so that when women came in, he could have right. them have a hard well, time getting good. out. At least that's what he was accused of. Well, he was one of the Me Too poster children uh, yeah. A, a, yeah. at the time. And you would think largely unemployable, right? You would think, right? After rumors surfaced that former NBC stalwart Matt Lauer would be making his TV comeback over at <laughs> CNN, Jeff oh, Zucker, no. Lauer's former boss at NBC and the current boss at CNN, adamantly denied the rumors. Uh -huh. <laughs> the reports yeah. that Zucker sent word out to all employees at CNN telling them there is absolutely no truth at all to the reports of Matt's coming to CNN. The rumors appeared to have started with page six report um, uh, he left, uh, of course, NBC in disgrace in 2017, coming out of seclusion to attend Zucker's 54th birthday party. The Post notes that CNN regulars such as Don Lemon and Chris Cuomo were also on hand. A relaxed Lauer was seen laughing and chatting with Zucker at the celebration. Zucker reportedly addressed the Lauer rumor during one of his regular town hall meetings in which he spoke to on an internal broadcast that went out to CNN employees. Um, so that means that Matt Lauer uh, will be hired next month by CNN. I think, I think <laughs> we, can, we can count on. And, uh, yeah, I mean, everyone's going to have to tune in to see that, right? <laughs> yeah. And there was a host uh, on uh, the BBC, on BBC Radio. Oh, uh, we made a, uh, uh, a thing about well, the baby. Yeah, uh, yeah. The well-known oh, BBC host was fired after he compared the new royal baby, Archie, which I think is a great name because, you know, the, I, don't, I don't know of anybody else in British history in the royal family that was yeah. named Archie. Maybe Archibald. They're going to call him Archie. Maybe, Archie. maybe Archibald, but Archie is a great name. And plus, he's seventh in, in, in turn for the throne. Uh, so it can, he could, uh, if everything is right, if, if six other people die, he becomes king. That'd be mm. great to have King Archie, you know. Right. And, and then he could marry Veronica, you know. <laughs> yeah. and, Jughead uh, can be his. Jughead you, could you know be how, You know how they're going to die, don't you? How? A hundred thousand people in Europe already have been, been affected by uh, the measles virus. Uh -huh. Okay. Do you know the, where the largest amount of measles are in the United States? Oh, yeah. States? Did you hear that? Yeah. Do you know They're where? They're measles like crazy. New York City. New York. New York. 80, yeah. 80, I think 80% of the measles outbreak is in New York City. My sister's worried in school. The, the guy that got fired from the BBC compared the baby to a monkey, I believe. Yeah, that's what happened. Oh, my God. He, oh, God. He, what he did, it, uh, he... Uh, was fired Thursday on the BBC after he sent out a tweet with a photo of a chimp in a suit along with the message, Royal Baby Leaves Hospital. You know, now, I don't know if he was thinking, hey, I'm making a joke about the fact that the chimp looks, <laughs> looks like a black person or something like that, but uh, it, it was not a judicious idea. He, I think he was thinking, how can I get fired today? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think that was a very good way. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, it's amazing. Well, we got about a minute left here, and what do you know? We actually made it through a whole show, and screw it if I'm not in sync. It doesn't matter. Just pay right. attention. Well, tomorrow you'll be in sync because it's Phil Free Friday. Well, that means that Tom can call and Scott right. can call. Scott, and it's, safe, it's a safe zone for liberals. It's funny. When you aren't on, we get more people than we usually have. Uh, no problem. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> no, no, no problem for me either. Uh, yeah. But anyway. hey, I'll, I'll, I'll just watch. What do you have tomorrow? It, it, you're not going to go uh, beat up on under, some other photographers. No, no. Are this you? is the underwater uh, society, uh, underwater photographer society, and cups. Uh, if you want to see what they do, it's uh, ncups.org. Uh, More than underwater photographers society. Oh, you know something? I should have been running the theme all along here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't start on time. Anyway, hey, listen, uh, good having you all here. Uh, I want to thank, uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, Charlie, and then I want to thank Eddie, and I want to thank Phil, and I want to thank Patrick, as always, as I've been doing for years and years and years. Uh, I've known him longer than I've known most wives. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Tony, thank you so much. Tim, thank you. I'm sure we'll hear you on the next show right after us. And, of course, Charlene, always great to, uh, to have you here. If you would all give a big wave goodbye, I'll wave back at you, okay? All right, all right. Uh, I'll be delayed waving back at you, but I will, I will wave back at you. i got to move this camera over. Anyway, thank you, everybody. Okay, bye-bye. Now, you may notice I'm out of sync, but the minute that I hang up on these people, all of a sudden, I will go into sync. See, there we are. Now we're in sync. <laughs> oh, boy. I always feel like I'm four seconds behind uh, in the citizens panel and all of that. That's it for now. Uh, I'm through for tonight. Next is the intersection with Jack Bishop tomorrow night at 930. It will be Damian Chaplin back from his root canal. Uh, uh, he'll be here. Uh, doing whatever, and then at 10 o'clock I'll be back again. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>